Vladimir Putin's bloody invasion of Ukraine is now in its fifth month, and he's betting that sooner or later you'll stop paying attention. Yes, I know, there's a lot going on, from inflation to mass shootings to the overturning of Roe to an escalating investigation into an ex-president's attempted coup. But we cannot look away from mass murder in our time. In the last few weeks, we've seen Russia increase its targeting of civilians, firing rockets at a mall and more apartment blocks, all while trying to seal off the city of Melitopol in southeastern Ukraine. At the same time, Ukrainian forces are putting up a David versus Goliath fight, killing at least 10 Russian generals as of May. But beyond the battlefield and its fundamental challenge to human rights and the rule of law, the downstream effects of this invasion are creating food shortages around the world, pressuring fuel prices, and even raising the specter of nuclear war. Now, the facts are there for all to see, but not inside Russia, because, of course, authoritarians always declare war on the truth as well. They wield disinformation as a weapon, a cynical strategy some kind called the fire hose of falsehood, designed not to convince, but to confuse. Now, one tactic is to flip the script using denial, deflection, and projection, to blatantly lie and accuse your opponents of what you've been credibly accused of. Like when Vladimir Putin gave a recent speech at an international law conference. And no, that's not the punchline. And he said, get this, there can be no other definition for the Kyiv regime's actions than a crime against humanity. Now, of course, it's Russia that's being actively investigated for war crimes in Ukraine. But the goal is to blur distinctions. Apparatchiks will echo it for careerist reasons. And some blind followers will even actually believe it. That's not the only tributary of this firehose of falsehood strategy. Here's another technique which might seem familiar. It's the I'm offended defense. Now this was on display when the Kremlin indignantly demanded to see the UK ambassador to scold her for offensive rhetoric about Putin that was not fit for polite society, they said, including what they called deliberately false information in particular about alleged Russian threats to use nuclear weapons. Now, there's nothing alleged about these nuclear threats. They've been leveled repeatedly by the Kremlin during this invasion. But of course, this is classic bully playing the victim stuff, pretending that telling the truth is offensive in an attempt to quiet criticism. Talk about putting feelings over facts. It's worth remembering there is no right not to be offended, and if the truth hurts, well, so be it. Look, compared to the bloody human cost, these may seem like small sins. But Putin's war on truth is the background music to his actual war on the people of Ukraine. Because authoritarians want to numb people. They want apathy to aid their power grabs. And brazen lies are a core part of the authoritarian playbook. That's exactly why we need to confront disinformation directly so that it doesn't become normalized. And so we can recognize its echoes wherever they appear. And that's your reality check.